Hello, my name is Abe and welcome back to Monolith. I'm gonna hop into a new run here and I'm gonna mention something really quickly before I start. I have found out the cause of the bug that I have experienced in the past that means that sometimes I dodge incorrectly. And to show it off here, and I, and I do want to explain it really quickly so that you understand when I'm talking about, oh, the game screwed me, I dodged incorrectly, what I'm talking about here. So this uh, little overlay here will just show you the buttons that I'm pressing, and sometimes if I dodge in one direction, like if I press D and try to dodge to the right, the game might dodge me in the wrong direction, and it, it will happen here in a second. Oh, by the way, it, apparently, also, if you just press the dodge button down, the right mouse button, you will dodge towards the cursor, which is something I didn't realize. But if you occasionally try to... Right there. If you try to dodge sometimes in a direction, it'll dodge in the wrong direction. It'll dodge in whatever button you pressed last. So right here, I'm, I'm pressing D right mouse button, and sometimes, it's very infrequent when it happens, but sometimes it'll dodge, for example, down because the last button I pressed was S, down. So there is a, a bug with the dodging in the game. It's probably something that I should learn to get around. I should not be using dodge, dodging to, uh, uh, to dodge bullets that quickly. I think that's a problem with the way that I'm playing Monolith, but it is a bug, and I have mentioned it to the developer, and he said that he might uh, try to get it fixed. But um, I just need to play better, and I need to play more carefully. I need to play more about dodging. I need to play more about re using the dodge not to dodge bullets, but just to reposition myself, kind of like, uh, well, not like how you would do it in Enter the Gungeon. I think that is a, a, a mistake. So I'm going to try my best to have a good game of Monolith and to try, hopefully, to win. Because I really want to win. I want to win. I want to get a win under my belt. Although we have won against the old true final boss, but now we have to win against the new true final boss, which is ourselves. Ourselves and the, uh, the old ship that we have previously obtained true power on that now exists to guard the monolith. I have to wonder if there's going to be, like, another set of Super Final Difficult Bosses. Ooh, it's tempting to get more bombs, but probably not worth it. Because if there are just going to be more Final Bosses, it's like, hey, you defeat the game with D13, then you have to do another run with the next version of Hard Mode, and then go fight D13. That's, like, the worst time to take damage, because it was a, a mini-boss. We could have gotten a, a permanent... Uh, ammo upgrade had I not gotten hit there. God damn, see, see like right there, I, I'm using the dodge and I'm just kind of running into bullets instead of dodging away from the bullets. It's not ideal. I gotta stop doing that. I've already taken two hits of damage. It's not good. I mean, it's only two hits of damage, but we're losing damage multipliers. Also, just kill those. We're losing the damage multipliers. We are... Um, just losing HP and now I have to recover HP again. What the hell? Like, I don't know what to do about this. That was very silly. I don't... Like, this guy, he... touched him with a laser and it caused him to spawn bullets? This game is hard. <laughs> bullet hells are hard. I'm not a good bullet hell player. I mean, I play, uh... I play Gungeon, but the Gungeon is a lot simpler. And more straightforward. This is, uh... Quite a bit more difficult. We're gonna take Fortune. Fortune is ideal for your first pickup. Why did those mages not spawn bullets? Like, they did spawn bullets, but... Like, I'm, I'm used to the red mages spawning bullets from themselves when they attack, and those ones didn't. It's That's kind of strange. So there's no regular shop. There is a... a a special shop where we can trade away permanent HP for things, but I don't want to buy anything. Vulcan Sword. Quick Freeze. I don't know, let's try the sword! I've been told it's been good. 
It will block bullets. It will break bullets anyways. Oh, oh gotta stay in. You gotta, you gotta hit the bullet with the swing, but it does work. Also, don't forget you got bombs. Use the bombs. They're there to protect you. See, like right there, that was a good use of the dodge because it kind of got distance. Oh, oh no, we're good, we're good. So actually, the sword seemed like it was pretty good there. It's very nice defensively. I know you can get a a giant sword, but you gotta get the giant modifier for the giant sword. I felt like looking for a secret room. And I'm gonna do it again. Damn it. I have no idea where the secret room is. That's okay. Wasted a couple of bombs, but we didn't get hit on the boss, and that is that is a that's a What? That is a, uh, a good thing. Laser phasing backblast. Permanent HP seems nice, but also just recovering two HP seems nice. I might want to recover two HP and then try to fight mini bosses in order to maybe get uh, permanent upgrades from them. Like permanent ammo upgrades, or even just getting ammo back if I'm at full health when I kill one of them, so we might want to try to go for that. We do have to keep the ammo intact for this weapon, though, by the time we get there. We can also use the sword swing to do additional damage. But it might just be worth it to not worry about that. Okay, let's go to the, the vault. I, I kind of want ammo. Charge piercing charges faster. I'm gonna take it. I don't like charge, but I do want the HP recovery from the salvage. And apparently you can salvage from this screen by popping the blank key and it'll salvage your current gun. So I could do that in order to, uh... Oh, fuck. I could do that in order to, uh get a little bit of healing back when I have very low ammo for a weapon. There's no point in keeping it intact. I did it again. You gotta kill these guys one at a time, but I, I don't have the reaction time, I think, to... I went to the boss fight! The mini boss fight! I don't think I have the reaction time to, uh... to handle... Uh, dodging. At least that quickly. Let's go to the secret room. 10% damage increase. Damage is gonna be a big thing, and I do wanna try to get as much as I can. That was a good room. We'll keep using charge. Keep using charge until we're out of ammo, and then we'll get to the, to the uh, next ammo room. I kind of do like charge faster, though. It means I can fire this very quickly. But we will use a lot of ammo. I hate when these guys spawn bullets when they disappear! Fuck! This game's hard, man. Um... I mean... Probably shouldn't do the mini-boss until we get a new gun gonna be out of ammo very quickly. I can probably do like one or two more standard rooms. <sighs> yeah, but then we should switch guns. Fireball triple backblast. Yes! Fireball triple is so useful. And I wish that there was a ammo increase that we could pick up here. But there's not. Um, did we upgrade? No, this is the this isn't a boss fight. This is an upgrade room, you idiot. That's fine. It's like where is the upgrade room? Artifact, salvage, reserves, ten percent damage. I'm gonna take ten percent damage. We've already fought the mini boss. That's that's what we've done. 
So we should probably just recover two HP. It's never gonna get cheaper. And in fact, there's a lot of money in the vault, so we should probably just buy more money. Or buy more uh, max HP. Presents. This thing fires very slowly, which I've gotta be careful about. I should probably kill enemies a little bit more slowly than maybe I have in the past. There's no reason to spam. I guess there is a reason to spam, but you probably shouldn't. Oh, what? He like spawned really close to me and then shot me. And there was no way I was dodging that. I guess I should have bombed it, but I didn't expect him to fire that uh, quickly. I expected him to give me a second, you know? We'll, we'll, we'll bomb that. We have an extra bomb. We should probably pop it. I think I could have flawless this guy. That was a pretty good fight. Okay, okay, let's go down to the next floor. We have enough ammo in this to be happy with, but I would still like to get more and more damage, just more everything. We only have 20% bonus damage and 5% bonus ammo. That's not that outstanding. We need more. We need more, much more. I hate the curving bullets. Like, look at this! It's still going! I think it's going to go forever. I hate that. <laughs> Why make that a thing? I should not have come into this room. Again, getting full health and then fighting the mini bosses seems ideal because then you get the full ammo or you get a uh, permanent ammo bonus. That was a good room. That was very tricky, but we made it work. Should feel free to bomb in this room, although that seems unnecessary. Feel free to bomb if you think there's gonna be a secret room like that. Um, should wait. So that's gonna be a mini boss. We're at full health. Let's fight the mini boss and do our best not to take damage. Because if I can do it without taking damage, I'll get a full ammo capacity back. We took damage. I already used my bomb. Oh, he was so close! At least he's dead. We're at full health still. I think that's that's going to be a big part of the strategy of, uh, of me playing Monolith, is getting per those permanent bonuses from those fights. Like, getting the permanent max HP upgrade. Getting a... Uh, But maybe you... Yeah, getting the permanent bonuses. I was just gonna think to myself, I mean, will he drop health if we don't have... It's not reserve, it's not focus. Um, Fortune? Will he drop health if we don't have fortune? But that doesn't matter, because you can still regain, or you can still gain health. You still can get the part cards. Keep going. Give me more rooms like that, please. I don't know if these fish can hurt you. I still have not seen them attack me. Maybe they're just obstacles, but they're kind of an ammo sink is what they are. I am so surprised that I didn't take damage and then I almost just walked into a, a fireball. I already found the secret room. This is the shop. There we go, this is what I want. Recover all ammo or increase maximum ammo. Now we should go to the vault, not the vault, the um... Oh, I got stuck! Now we should go to the um... Something is firing bullets and I don't like that. We should go to the secret room when we are almost out of ammo with this and try to get more ammo back. I just dodge rolled directly into that bullet. I'm bad at Monolith. <laughs> I'm getting better, but I'm bad at Monolith. Maybe salvage would be good here. Artifact could be amazing if we can keep the HP up. Let's take artifact.
Vulcan, revolver, ricochet homing finale freeze, no. Charge, I guess laser crossbeam pulsar freeze, charge faster. It's not a, this is not a very good weapon combination though, but you know, we do get more ammo. I think it's not a very strong pickup though. Oh, there is gonna be a vault on the floor. We're, we're better at room killing than boss killing, but I'd rather be better at boss killing, I think. I don't know. I do like firing faster, but that's just gonna cause me to use more ammo faster, you know? I'd rather have triple shot or, or phasing or piercing or something like that, you know? If it takes two bullets to kill an enemy, then we're gonna go through our ammo twice as fast. going here. I, I'll admit I do like getting the damage bonus. And there is still a um, weapon shop here. This was dumb. I should have done this first. Fireball, revolver, revolver. So we're not even going to take those, I think. Because we've got a super weapon right now. I want to keep my super weapon. For once, I actually managed to dodge that, I think. <laughs> I don't know, our damage output seems fine. That was okay. Now we just need to make sure we have ammo. All oh, right, second phase. We need to make sure we keep ammo in this thing. Okay, blank, if you're about to take damage. I actually just need the time. Why, why are we doing so much damage? It felt like we killed him super quickly. I shouldn't complain, but still. Feels like we killed him extremely quickly. Add two bombs. We should have done that earlier, because now we're going down to the next floor. This is less of a point. Okay, good. 12 HP, not a lot of ammo. 130% damage, which is fine. Maybe this laser is what I need. Freezing plus okay enough damage, maybe. Okay, play it slow against those guys, I think. Oh! Almost hit, got hit. But I didn't get hit. I didn't. Increases max ammo slightly. You do get a little bit of ammo out of it, so that is a very good upgrade to get. I think that room is very weird. Found the boss fight. I kind of don't want to go to the mini boss until later, until we use more of our ammo, because then we recover more ammo. Aha. I think that was smart. <laughs> oh, I see. They fired three bullets. Okay. I think that was smart. I think that was smart. I'm actually kind of liking this weapon, being able to freeze. The cross shot is fine, getting extra bullets out of the gun is fine. And it's a laser, and I do like lasers, so that's gonna be an upgrade. Let's go to the upgrade. Salvage, discount, scanner. I'm gonna take discount and then buy more stuff. You know, maybe that's that's kind of uh, what why you take salvage. You take salvage, not salvage, you take artifact early so you can get a good gun and then you keep it yourself at full health, you get ammo drops from the mini bosses that you kill and then you can keep your weapon longer. Maybe that's kind of the ideal situation. So this guy He's an annoyance when you kill him. You gotta leave that guy alive for as long as you can. He's the last one you kill, not the first one. So I really want to keep my HP up. And I think, well, let's go to the shop. Sword, reflective 
Heavy? No, not giant. Recovers 3 HP, really good. 5% damage increase for 66! 66, we have to. And then we have to do the mini boss fight. We should do one more room of combat. Okay, <laughs> it worked. <laughs> There's too many bosses. Okay, okay. Let's fight one of them. Oh! I got the ammo drop. And now we can come in here and heal. And then we can go and do more rooms and then fight the other mini boss. Okay! I got hit at the very end there, but it, it did work. For the most part. So th I guess this guy just buffs. And I guess his buff is that he makes the enemies really annoying. Because <laughs> they seemed very annoying. Not gonna be a secret room there. Could be a secret room here. It's worth a 5% damage upgrade, I think. But now I need more uh, HP, uh, more blanks before I fight that mini boss. I don't know, it kind of worked. I'm probably spending way too much ammo on that, but it kind of worked. Good, 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 good. Okay, okay, okay. We found the secret room. Oh, you piece of shit! I saw him too, and I still let him hit me. Okay, we need one HP drop before we fight the next mini boss. I really want to fight that mini-boss with full health so I can get full ammo. We could get rid of our gun, I'm not gonna do that. There's also a, a, a vault we have not explored yet. Okay, we're, I guess we're gonna have to fight the mini-boss. It's not ideal. It's not ideal because we got one HP instead of full ammo. Was there not a, not a vault? I guess that was last floor. Ugh. Giant sword I'd probably take. Not giant sword, no thank you. Reactor, so this is gonna be a two-part boss fight. Would love to keep my HP intact. I ran into a bullet somewhere. I don't know where, that's okay. Ah, ran into two more bullets. I thought I got hit once, not twice. All right, we're gonna have to go back into the reactor to finish him off. We have three blanks, three bombs, excuse me. I should use the bombs. Not using the bombs is very silly. I did get hit there because I didn't have fast enough reaction. And I'm just... Oh, what the hell? I hate that attack. I I hate that beam attack. It's so damn fast. I never have the reaction time necessary to to, to dodge it. I didn't want to I should have just popped the bombs. Bombs! Use the bombs! They're much more important. They're much easier to to, to recover. That's gonna be like the next evolution of my monolith play, is actually using bombs instead of just constantly say that I should be using bombs and then not using the bombs. Use the bombs! Plating, focus, auto bomb. I'm gonna take focus, because plating doesn't fill your HP, but focus at least gives me more invincibility frames. Okay, so we wanna just shoot these guys. You know what, leave, come back. We can get two more. Ooh, this is good. We can get two more bombs <clears throat> before the boss, but I'm I'm not gonna have full ammo. I'm not gonna have this gun. I'm gonna have to get rid of this gun very shortly, unless I literally find a, a mini boss in like the next room. We're gonna run out of ammo. That's that's so disappointing. 
This weapon has been so good, and... Oh, we got four more shots! Ah... <laughs> uh, we can do one more room. I can't buy ammo. We're... We should get rid of it. We're gonna have to get rid of it anyways. Laser piercing continuous is, is fine. Pulsar piercing split. We, we haven't had Pulsar before. But with a laser piercing continuous, I think I've got to try it. That's such a disappointment that we couldn't get ammo for the weapon. If you can't keep your uh, your gun ammoed, then artifact early doesn't seem that useful. We've got two two bombs. I don't know. Maybe uh, continuous is what we want here. The thing about this is that um, if you tap shoot it, it takes one ammo. You should really should hold it down when you can. We'll spend the rest of our money here when we're done. I don't want to fight the mini boss until I can get full health, but we've already bought everything out of the shop. I don't like discount as a as an upgrade, but it was the only thing we could buy. That's electrified. Fuck. Not much else that we could have bought. I should have just blanked this. It's a very annoying room. We're gonna be very low on HP, I think. I haven't seen a brain guy in a while. I didn't really mean to fight the mini boss, but I guess we're here. Oh! <laughs> I had already killed him, and then I still took damage my life, basically. We're not, we're not gonna have ammo in this to fight the boss with. We're gonna have to get more, uh... Like, I can't dodge you and the thing I just killed at the same time, okay? I can only deal with one of you guys at a time. I'm gonna have to get... Oh no, we did get another gun. Wow. We have no ammo. I understand. I understand the, the point of the... Mini bosses dropping ammo if you kill them at full health. That's how you keep your guns. That's how you keep your guns uh, st stocked full of ammo. I just need to get better <laughs> at the game. I need to keep my HP intact because right now we're not going to have anything except for the uh, starter weapon. Oh God! I thought he. Oh. So what happened there was I thought that he was going to fire. Um, bullets at me. Instead, he, he did that weird AoE attack thing, which is kind of annoying. That's just me misunderstanding what was happening and forgetting that, that he had that attack. Because the, the, when I entered this room, he did the, the blue circle attack. He was just hitting me with bullets. And then he changed his uh, modus operandi very quickly there. Four, three... Dude, I got hit again! Well, we have to recycle. We have to get rid of the, the gun. We do have reserves, so we do have like a slightly better starting weapon here, but it is still awful. And I still took damage too. Fuck! Took another hit of damage. Just bomb him! Just use the bombs! Keep yourself you know, stacked on HP instead of having 4 HP fighting the final boss of the game. At least the final boss at this point. Uh... It's gonna be another loss. Got more HP. Sure. Give me a gun. We didn't get the gun. But that's fine, because there's nothing else to buy! Don't forget to buy the bombs. Okay. Let's see if we can kill the Overlord. I'll be happy if I can kill the Overlord using the starter weapon. And at the very least, we can practice. I know what I need to do. I need to practice playing Monolith oh, damn it. on my own, so that when I come in here to record, we have better runs. I couldn't move because uh, I'm just too close to the wall. I hate, I hate when I'm too close to the wall and it prevents you from moving. Well, now we have to bomb. I didn't want to bomb earlier, because if I had to bomb, there's no way I'm going to get through the rest of the combat, but... 
It is what it is. It was a good run. I'm learning. I understand now. We have to... We have to keep our HP high when we're fighting those mini-bosses. It is... It is so important. Don't do Don't dodge. Don't dodge. And I still gotta learn... I gotta learn that the dodge is not to get away from bullets like that. You've gotta just, like, duck, dive, and dip, dodge, and dodge to get around those bullets. You can't use the dodge for that. You have to just kind of weave your way through the bullets. The dodge is about repositioning, not emergency dodging. It's something that I've got to, got to, got to focus on. It's not like Gungeon. It's not how it works. What's up? You get, like, an achievement if you chase this guy down or something. Shop! What can we buy for 83,000 credits? I like the idea of Second Wind. I think Second Wind is good for the the primary ship, but for the D13, how many times have I gotten down to the fifth floor and I've got like 3 HP, I've got no ammo in my gun, which is basically the carbon copy of what just happened with this run. So if we take Second Wind, it'll appear in the the um, upgrade terminal in the three perk selections and we could take that if we get that um, late in the game but maybe just buying something else is better but everything else is stuff that could you know screw you out of buying a giant sword or something so I think we should I think we should take it we'll take second wind the one-time care package maybe we'll use that in the future but I think maybe I think maybe I'll, I'll just play a little bit by myself to, uh, to get some practice in before I do some more recording, because I, I keep making it to the frickin' Overlord and not being able to go any further, but I feel like that's cutting the run a little bit short. We should we should be able to get further on in the game to make a more entertaining video here. So, regardless, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Monolith.